What did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, my father was an architect, so I only remember wanting to be an architect. I wanted to live in the city, have an apartment, and wear uh, skirt suits, pretty much. So I wanted to be Indiana Jones when I grew up. <laughs> I still do. <laughs> I would never have imagined in a million years that my role would be a graphic designer for a construction company or just Skender. I mean, honestly, I think the teams that we build here, people truly do, if you're a really hard worker, want to make sure that you're, they keep you and that you're going down a path that like you will retire from Skender. Skender has been helping me propel and helping me succeed in every way I ever could imagine. So I've never been stifled, I've never been um, told no by anyone. You know, the things that I want to do, I've always been supported. I think when they made the announcement that I would be made partner, um, I kind of laughed to, to my boss and I'm like, this wasn't even on my radar. And he looked at me and he said, it's always been on your radar. He goes, you just didn't realize it. When we have a new hire, everyone wants, if it's a woman, everyone wants her on their team because they know she's going to come in and work hard and be organized and do all those things. I've never assumed anything was going to come to me unless I worked, worked my ass off to get there. It's your responsibility to put it on the people in power's radar that you know you're working hard and you feel you deserve more. What's the benefit of having women colleagues in this industry? Relying on others you know to kind of bond together and um, to have those mutual stories I think has been incredibly helpful. When you go weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks with being the only female in a room to then have a another female enter the picture I feel like you're you feel slightly more validated. I, I think just kind of by the luck of the draw, I actually ended up on a project team that was almost all women. And that was really amazing. The first For the first time in my career, I, was, I had like other <laughs> women in the room with me, so that was really cool. To feel like you're not the only one who's kind of going through those things and being able to relate to other people. What advice would you give to your younger self or other women in the industry? If I were to give some advice to, to women is to seek out uh, positive uh, role models and bosses and leadership. So, you know, Skander is a testimony to that. It, it has to happen on the leadership level uh, or else it doesn't happen at all. If I could look back, I would have told myself, you got it, it'll be fine, you'll figure it out. And now I live more of my life like that, which makes life so much easier. So. <laughs> Having a mentor um, is so important and I advocate that anyone, especially women in this industry, find someone to mentor them because it can really help shape their thought process, their careers, and um, it gives them encouragement. I love all the new women that are here and the younger women because they're so much better than I was at their age. Almost seeing them be these amazing young women makes me want to make sure that I'm the the proper role model every day and I'm improving so that they can look up to someone honestly. I really enjoy having a female team leader. We were discussing the design of something I think and I prefaced a thought with, well I don't know if my thought really matters but like this is what I think and she pulled me aside afterwards and she said, of course your thought matters, your opinion matters, like you don't need to ever think that it doesn't. When you're told, hey, you, you have the ability or you are capable of doing this, it makes you feel good and then makes you think, oh, okay, yeah, he's trusting me that I can do it. And okay, I should probably trust myself and, and you know, give it a shot. <laughs>